Well, it's about that time. I already bought an exhaust for it and just barely showed up. <laughs> And boom, uh, the new winter project. Hopefully she'll be ready by spring. I mean, it won't take a lot. So I bought this, it's a 99 Miata. It's a five speed, surprisingly has a clean title. Came from Copart, per the norm. Uh, it has some Koenig wheels on it. Other things I've seen that I didn't know about. It also has a carbon fiber hood. So that was a score, I thought it was just painted black. It has a Willwood proportioning valve, and it looks like it has some sort of coil conversion. I'm not familiar with that, but I looked under the dash and it appears to be a stock ECU. So I don't know, looks like stock suspension. I ordered coilovers today. I ordered the same ones I did for the Miata cart, which are the Yonaka, Yonaka, whatever you want to call it. I really enjoyed them. They're cheap. They were like 500 bucks on their Christmas sale. They're out of stock currently, but they will ship when they get in stock. These are the wheels. Koenigs, and these are 205 50-15s. Um, this was the damage. That's it. Just a fender. Kind of got the... Uh, whatever this is, core support, headlight bracket mount right there, bumper a little bit, not bad, and then somebody decided to then open the door. I'm pretty sure that's probably done the auction because that's what they like to do. And it kind of got the carbon here. Hopefully that can be remedied a little bit, made, look, made to look better. Either way, it's cool. Uh, the top is mint. I didn't see a single rip in this thing. Appears to be well taken care of. No damage back here. 148,000 miles is all. They obviously had a dog, because that seat is filthy. Um, I need some random pieces here. This is an armrest. And I don't think the window was working, but Least of my worries right now. I'm not gonna roll my window down in the winter. But she's pretty clean. Uh, first thing I want to do is change the oil and check coolant, you know, basic stuff like that. I have not popped this open. I did drive it home. Hey, there's coolant in there. Good. Um, I have Oh, it's broke. I was going to say, maybe we have a good dipstick. Don't exist. Unless you buy one to replace it. I can't really do this one-handed. Uh, it's not focusing, but it appears to be low. So uh, I'll get started on the oil change. I'll lift the car up in the air and we'll go over what it takes to change the oil on this beast. All right, once you have the car in the air, have it on some jack stands. This is the drain plug here. It's facing the passenger side, 17 millimeter. And you just, uh, let's see. Break that thing loose, which I already did, just forgot. Hopefully it hits the oil pan because the jack stands are kind of in the way. for a while. Probably won't take long. This didn't appear to have much oil in it. I'm not sure why. Looks like it's had a radiator replacement because those are for automatic transmissions. Could be a good or bad thing. And if, if it's like the other Miatas, the oil filter should be right up in here. Maybe. Right where you can't see it. Right there, I can kind of see it. Right. Right there. 
There she is. Gonna be kind of a hard reach. Just have to give her the old reach around. Giggity. Yeah, that's a scary amount of not a lot of oil. But yeah, reach up there, break that loose, drain that out. You're ready for the new one. So I take it back. If you come up on top, you can actually see it right there. That is the oil filter. I think you can just reach down through here. If I didn't have gigantic gloves on. What is this? Some sort of vacuum. But yeah, it appears that I might be able to just reach through here and loosen that up. We'll drain it from the top, not the bottom. All right, new oil filter is in place. Uh, if you go with a Fram or like a Walmart one, apparently it's a 6607 is the number. And then we're gonna fill her up with only the best. Boom. You know it's good. First, let's put the drain plug back in so it doesn't all come back out. To add precisely four quarts, which will be a struggle to do one handed, but here we go. And then we'll fire her up. Once your oil's filled up, hop back in your sweet Miata. I guess we can do this, it's hard to see. Fire it up, make sure you have oil pressure. All good things. Okay, I'll let it run for a minute, then we'll check the dipstick, make sure it's actually full. And we'll be done with the oil change. Definitely need gas. Ow. It's not even running. I was going to throw my snow tires on this. Turns out, that's good enough. I have a set off my other Miata. These are 14s. And I guess 14s don't fit on this car. Not sure why. Not sure if it's because it has a big brake kit. Seeing as how they put some work into making this more kind of autocross track oriented. Could be the case. I don't know, but they do not fit, so I cannot put snow tires on. So now I have to hope that this is actually just a flat tire and not have a hole in it or something. It's the last thing I need to spend more money on tires. Okay, well, I think the next video we'll get started on I'm trying to massage this fender out a little bit. And uh, this is jammed in there pretty good. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to get that out as well.